Hello everybody, hello, hello. How are y'all doing today? Oh boy, um, well, I'm more motivated today than I have been in the morning. I, I know it's not morning yet. <laughs> I mean, it's still not morning anymore, but I'm doing better than I have been in the last few days as far as getting motivated sometime before three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, yeah, I know, lofty goal. <laughs> um, so today, um, uh, my mother sent me a Facebook, well, she posted something on Facebook that was some kind of a flower, and it looks like a tulip, and so it's got green around the, out, the base of it, and then it's yellow and red, and then it's got white in the center, like, almost looks like a snow cone, kind of, but um, that red and green is real pretty different colors of green, so it inspired me, and I thought, I'll do um one of these hair dryer swipes or a dutch pour um with those colors and since i've had a hair dryer swamp on my mind that's what i'm gonna do first using those similar colors so um anyway this is my gluten premium um House paint with a little bit of GAC 800 mixed in. Um, I have, I'm, I've been running out of GAC 800 for weeks now, and I'm like, you know, uh, clinging to that last little bit, scraping out of the bottle and everything else, because that's so expensive, and I don't get paid again till the 17th unless I sell something, which is. I've got one commission that I'm working on, but it won't be very much, and um, it's just hard to um, sell in the traditional sense when you can't show your work anywhere, you know, and we're all feeling that right now. I normally go to the farmer's market on Saturday, and uh, I know that doesn't sound like a real artsy place, but there are artists that show their me, and there's a jewelry girl, and um, some other people that, you know, there's not much, of, not many of us, there's just a few of us, but um, I did pretty well out there. I do well enough to keep making my stuff, you know, um, and I get a lot of commission work from out there, and uh, so that's hurt me not being able to be out there, and um, anyway, um, so uh, they say that um, our businesses will be able to reopen on Thursday here in Texas, um, like Hobby Lobby, that's all I'm thinking about, um, and restaurants at half capacity. So there's a lot at the end of the tunnel. Um, anyway, so that's the gluten and the GAC, and um, my I've, I've done something a little different again this time. I'm always experimenting, but this time I have added the silicone back to my colors. Um, I just like the silicone and I don't think it hurts anything and we're going to see what it does. And this one is um, Peacock Feather Color Art Pigment with some Deco Art and yeah, I think it's Emerald Green. Um, and I'm going to put this just a little space away because I'm going to put my cell activator right there at the, at the edge. And I'm not going to put it all on right now because I'm going to put some of each color and kind of try to mix them some. Um, let's do the yellow now. The yellow is Amsterdam yellow mixed with uh, one of my um, Pearl X pigments. And I thought that made a really pretty yellow. And I braced this thing again, um, this pouring table. I braced it again down there. Um, so I'm hoping that it won't be tilted so much anymore. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress, y'all. Like everything. Now this is um, Master's Touch Primary Red. It's my favorite red. Um, if you want just one, you know, very true, brilliant red, that's it. Um, it is gorgeous and very consistent um always does well for me and this chartreuse here is a mix of one of the color art pigments uh i forget the name of it um and uh arteza chartreuse paint 
And I really like that color too. I like them all. You're right. I like them all. Y'all are sitting there going, she says that all the time. <laughs> she does. <laughs> um, and then here we have, uh, this is an Arteza bright green. Um, I wanted lots of different greens. You know, to try to mimic nature, kind of, because there's so many different greens in um, a flower like that. You know, um, if you really start looking, just a little more red. Okay, cool. I'm happy. Um, now we're going to put the cell activator. Uh, right here. Now, I was saying, and I don't know where I got off on my tangent, but I put the silicone back in the colors and in the cell activator. Um, I just want to see. Um, since I've been doing without it, I want to see what the difference is um, with it. So... We're going to, it's always experimentation day here, but um, today that's our specific experiment. back like blowing trying to blow all the white before I um trying to, trying to get as much of the white gone before I advance with my hair dryer um I'm kind of I'm trying to get that lacing to go all the way across is what I'm trying to do and I'm wondering if I want to spin this or not or just tilt it I want those other colors to come out. I'll just tilt it a little bit and see what we get. And I do like that spinning, but it looks like it's lacing pretty good all on its own. Now, I don't want it to look Christmassy. I want to see that yellow. if I just went all the way over that white. I don't know. There's an orange cat over there behind my glass. They creep in here and hide. I guess it's a good place to hide. You know, I think I'm going to bring that down all the way over that white. Um, I've got enough white picked up with it. I don't know, maybe, at least in the middle. I'm going to let it do that. And maybe leave the... It, it, the red and green on these edges is making it look Christmassy to me. And I don't want Christmassy. So let's cover that. I see a blob over there. I see a bloblet. I have to get that. Other than that, um, it's pretty. It's doing just what I wanted it to, which is rare. Um, all right, you blob. Out you go. Uh, 
Now the cell activator is uh, two parts um, flow troll to one part Amsterdam white. Um, I've tried thinner cell activators like with three parts and I don't like them as well. I think it works better with the thicker cell activator. And one of those little dots in there, those may be cells and that may be why a lot of people are not using silicone, the little dots in there. They don't really bother me. I think they're cells. Um, but if, but I may not like them. I mean, I don't know. I wanted some more cells um, than I was getting. But um, I don't know if I want little dots. I don't really usually like little dots <laughs> of any kind. <laughs> That's really pretty over there. I wish it was doing that all the way across. That'd be cool. Little blob did not go away. There. Now I've got to tilt over the little blob space. Maybe I just need to stretch it a little bit more and I'll get this the way I want it. Colors are pretty. Um, I, it still looks a little Christmassy to me, but Maybe it won't when I get finished. I gotta get where that blob was. Um, I don't know if y'all can see right now, but I'm trying to make it where you can. Where we both can. I may just leave it kind of like that with uh, all this um, activity over here on the left and let it look kind of like a bullet man shot out, you know, with these lines going on around because there's not a lot more paint to pour off. It's pouring real slow. I'm just trying to get that little line from the bloblet off of there. These are my new canvases. Um, these are Artist Loft, and um, I don't like them. Um, but to be honest, you know, I don't know that there's a big difference between these canvases and the ones that I get from Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't even know what brand they are, if they are a brand, they're Hobby Lobby brand or whatever. Um, I like them, too. I'm going to leave it just like that. I like that. This part is gorgeous over here, and that's pretty, too, you know. Um, but I, I think maybe the silicone made those little bloblets. So, I mean, not the bloblets, but those little dots. You probably can't see them, and I don't see them so much anymore. But maybe that's why nobody's using silicone. Um, maybe I'm not going to use it anymore either. Because um, I don't like little dots of any kind. Um, they bother me. So, thank you all for all the comments and the subscriptions and the likes and everything. I've gotten 27 subscribers now. Yay! Um, that's awesome. Um, and like the last seven were just in the last few days. So I've been working real hard on my descriptions and tags and, you know, whatever all those things are that are supposed to make them get discovered. And I've been seeing more of them on that little ticker thing. So hopefully, um, I thought for such a long time that people just weren't having the opportunity to see them. They just weren't seeing them in that little ticker dealing. So I've been working on writing, you know, trying to write it the way the computer wants it. So anyway, hopefully. I wish I didn't have that huge glare right in the center. I um, wonder if I could do something about that. I don't know that I can, though, without removing one of my lights. And I need my lights. So I don't know. We'll just we'll have to see. I don't think I can do anything about that. See those little bitty specks? I'm not sure what those are. Um, I'm not sure where they came from, but they could have come from the silicone, so I think I'll knock off the silicone next time. The risk-to-benefit ratio is not working out in its favor, because I'm not seeing a whole lot more cells than I was seeing before. This part over here is beautiful, you know, and I see some right in there, um, but I don't, it doesn't look that much better than without, and if I'm going to get little dots, 
no thanks because I don't like little dots but that's beautiful um, I hope it doesn't look too Christmassy I don't think it does now those colors have blended there's some pink in there some brownish color um, yeah it doesn't look too Christmassy well um, thanks for joining me you guys I appreciate it and um, join me next time uh, I finally did the work I needed to do on those traditional paintings i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna show you it again after i get it uh re-resined i had to repaint some stuff on the um on the waves you know what happened was and i'm telling you this because it might happen to you if you do a beach painting like a traditional beach painting and you draw your waves and i mean you paint your waves in and you get them all you know they're kind of uh kind of you um you know, haphazard looking like they're supposed to be. Well, I wanted them to kind of be billowy and, and have a little lacing around them or something. So I, when I resined them, I put a strip of clear resin over where the waves are supposed to be. And then I put my um, white resin over it and I blew it out with the heat gun, just like you would if you were trying to get billowy waves on a resin piece. The problem was, is I had a lot of resin on there and they billowed beyond where they were supposed to be. They billowed out into the ocean and everything. And on a traditional piece, I didn't want that. That's fine on a resin piece, but I didn't want that on this one. So I sat there and tried to push them back and push them back and push them back. I have resin all over me and I'm scraping it back up and it's oozing back down because it self levels, duh. You know, so this wasn't working. So anyway, I just, I scraped it back as far as I could and I put some new resin in the middle so it wouldn't feel the need to self level itself over there. Anyway, that was the best I could do with it. And then the next day I decided just to paint, repaint around that excess. And so that's what I did. And then I'm going to re-resin over it. So I essentially just repainted the waves. And um, I want to, you know, because I want that traditional look. I don't want it to be look like a resin beach painting. It's supposed to be a traditional one. But I'll show y'all again. I showed you yesterday. And I'll show y'all again when I re-resin it. I'm telling you that because if you have a, a traditional acrylic beach painting and you're tempted to try to make waves more billowy or lacy or something like that, just keep in mind that it's going to migrate and it's uh, impossible to control. So just keep that in mind. I probably won't do it again. Um, I might do it on the waves that are in the front, but I definitely won't do it on a crashing wave or on the waves in the back because um, they get just completely out of control. And um, that isn't the look I was going for. So FYI, you know, I'm trying to pass along every little nugget of uh, information I come across, especially the ones I come across from screwing up. And those are the most, <laughs> they can, tend to be the most common bits of information I come across. So anyway, thanks you guys for being here and helping me out with my channel. I really appreciate it. I was really disappointed for a while that it wasn't going anywhere. It didn't seem like, and things are picking up. And I know that's because of y'all and I appreciate you. All right, have a great day. Join me next time. See you then. Bye-bye.